My name is Joshua Kofer. I work for Georgia DOT Bridge Maintenance Unit. I'm a bridge inspection supervisor, and uh, we basically inspect all bridges, either a road over them or under them. We inspect those bridges to ensure safety for the traveling public. We have just under 15,000 bridges in the state of Georgia that we inspect every two years. Uh, we basically go out and we'll walk across the deck of the bridge, looking at the deck, making sure everything, you know, the joints are sealed, making sure there's no damage on the deck, and then we'll go underneath the bridge and inspect the beams, make sure the beams are in good shape, look at all the columns and caps, check for any scour if, there's on a, if it's on a waterway. Um, and we'll typically do four to five bridges a day. We look for any deficiencies on the bridge, any type of cracking, exposed rebar, any corrosion on the beams, make sure the bridge is functioning properly and uh, there's no, no damage to the bridge that's gonna render it unsafe for people to travel. As far as our bridges go, they're a, a very integral part of our infrastructure. Uh, without these bridges here in Atlanta or anywhere you really go, I mean, you drive down the expressway, you see how many bridges you go under or cross over just driving through Georgia. We have a, a lot of bridges that we need to maintain and, and keep in good working order. Without those bridges, then you basically your infrastructure is, is no good. So when, when my crew and I go out and inspect bridges, we always look at it from the standpoint of our family members are driving across these bridges, our wives, daughters, mothers, and fathers. So we feel that if, when we finish looking at this bridge, if it's safe for our family to travel across this bridge, then we've done our job and we've kept the traveling public for the state of Georgia safe. The bridge maintenance unit has 11 topside teams, which are basically what we do. We inspect the surface of the, the riding surface of the bridge. We go underneath and look. We also have three specialized teams that use snooper trucks and bucket trucks to get up high where if anything's over 24 feet high, we can't reach it on a ladder, then they'll get in the bucket truck and they go up and take a closer look. And then we have two dive teams that look at anything that's underwater. Hi, my name is Joseph Daniels and I'm a dive supervisor for the underwater bridge inspection team. I've been with the department for 15 years. Uh, our job is to inspect the bridges from the waterline down. There's a topside team that does from the waterline up. We have two what we call deep water boats and one of them we do scuba out of, one of them we do surface supply out of, and then we have two shallow water boats that we do smaller rivers, and large creeks, um, or the boat ramp's small and it's not able to accommodate the big boats, then we have to use the smaller boats, and we do strictly scuba out of them. We always have a standby diver ready. We suit up a standby diver, have him on the bank, and uh, we use communications, we use full face masks, and um, to make sure that we're doing a safe dive. Okay. Today, we were doing an H pile bridge, which is a steel pile that, that has a concrete encasement on it. And what we were doing was looking to make sure that there was no exposure underneath the concrete encasement, exposing the steel pile below it and uh, to the water so it would, it could rust or corrode. So we, we would go along and to each pile and fill, up, fill underneath the uh, encasement to make sure it's not scoured out or, or, and, and has exposure of the steel underneath it. It's, it's very important to have these bridges inspected underwater because most bridge collapses have been due to stuff happening underwater that's not been detected or you can't see. Um, we take pride in that we're, we're down out here and to protect the public, you know, so the traveling public will be safe crossing the bridges. My name is Joseph O'Daniels. I'm a dive supervisor for the Underwater Bridge Inspection Team, and this is your tax dollars at work.